Heaven must have sent her my way Skies above me Never were as blue as her eyes And if she loves me Who could want a sweeter surprise When she nestles in my arms so tenderly There's a thrill that words cannot express In my heart a song of love is taunting me Melody haunting me Sweet and lovely Sweeter than the roses in May And as she loves me There is nothing more I can say Until the day that one comes along, I'll swing along with you. I'm looking for an angel to sing my love song to. And until the day that one comes along, I'll sing my song to you. For every little fault that you have, say I've got three or four. The human little faults you do have just make me love you more and more. You may not be an angel, but still I'm sure you'll do. So until the day that one comes along, I'll swing along with you.
Well hi there folks, a very warm welcome to you all. Um, James here once again. Um, and you join me um, for a look at my um, little uh, Bakelite pipe from the 30s made by the, the Butner Company. And uh, this is a, a very early and as far as I'm aware possibly the first filter pipe that I believe was available. Um, the uh, the Butner Company um, is uh, was a, a company based in in Glasgow, in Scotland, and um, as I say, uh, there's not a great deal of information about um, you know about how long they were about, um, but they were obviously um, thought that they could do something um, a little bit different, and um, indeed. I should imagine at the time um, there probably wasn't another manufacturer doing anything um, similar. Um, I'm fairly certain there wasn't, and I should imagine at the time the whole. Um, I guess in the 30s, you have to remember. I suppose there was this element of a. Um, you know, they were sort of pushing. Um, health and fitness and sort of out healthy outdoor living um, there was a bit of a drive for that and I suppose in some respects it was the the very early origins of of, of um, you know trying to um, be a bit more health health conscious and I think they probably as you can see from the uh, um, marketing material that uh, they really were pushing this sort of uh, uh, this, this sort of um, the fact that it was a filtered pipe um, uh, and how much better um, this this was for you, um, which I suppose for you know modern day standards it's it's almost a little bit sort of laughable, but at the time I think probably um, it was fairly revolutionary um, when you consider. Um, I dare say, um, you know, you people basically had, um, uh, you know, briar pipes, um, and maybe if you are very lucky, a meerschaum pipe. Maybe some people even smoked a clay pipe, possibly. Um, so, yes, to have a, a, um, you know, a system filtered pipe. Um, in, in the new um, sort of uh, early plastic Bakelite. Um, I don't think there's much that they didn't make out of Bakelite in the end. Um, or they, you know, some things probably more successfully than others, but um, obviously somebody thought, well, you know, why not? Um, and uh, yes, I've, I've uh, managed to collect um, an original brochure for the pipe, um, actually I wasn't looking for it but it um, appeared at a, an antiques fair and I was very pleased to be able to pick that up and um, I've tried to show it to you um, briefly and if you want to read it in any more detail you can obviously pause the video uh, accordingly um, but it's quite interesting and uh, I like the um, sort of uh, um, stereotypical um, people's sort of um, different views and it just names them as their sort of job roles um, and what they thought of the pipe, that's quite interesting. Um, so yes, uh, I'm uh, smoking the pipe right now as you can see and I'm enjoying some um, Germain's Rich Dark Flake um, which um, I've been enjoying um, very much lately. Um, I'm a relative of um, relatively late comer to this lovely blend um, and uh, yes it, it goes without saying there's plenty of other reviews and things on here um, but I would definitely agree with the majority of them and it is a very good quality tobacco um, very tasty um, as I say very well behaved and one which I probably wished I'd tried a lot sooner but um, it will certainly be uh, in the collection from now on. 
So anyway, uh, the button the pipe. Um, this I've had now for probably the best part of 15 years odd, perhaps something like that. Um, now, when I purchased it, it was at a time when I was buying all sorts of different pipes, um, and really I wasn't. I did value it greatly, and I really liked it, um, but I wasn't really aware of really how old it was, and um, I had a rough idea, but um, as is the case now, there was very limited information on it, and um, so I've really not found out a huge amount more, um, and I would think, as far as the company is concerned, most people most pipe smokers would be aware of the um, the Butler um, Rima tool which I have here one of these little fellas uh, which kind of just adjusts um, to suit whatever size bowl you have now I think again this was a patented design when it came out and um, I think now you see basic copies of it. Um, I guess the pattern probably ran out or um, or they're slightly different but they're basically very similar um, but that is an old one um, somebody found that for me and again um, just great that it's almost you know what little there is I can find I've got all these sort of elements um, I think there are some other sort of um, manufacturer pamphlets or, or leaflets and advertising um, that I always look out for but I haven't found any more since um, so I'm pleased to have what I've got and it's one of these pipes um, that for a, a long time I thought do I do I have this in the rotation to smoke it regularly um, and for a long time actually I, I didn't um, I didn't smoke it very often at all and uh, um, which is a real shame because I think really I don't like to really keep pipes um, uh, really unless I'm I'm smoking them as well I think yeah you know, it's it's what they're for um, and uh, I don't have masses of space to keep lots and lots of pipes but um, I've managed to accumulate quite a few and I'd like to say that. Uh, actually all of them do get smoked at some point so anyway recently I have brought the buttoner back out and have been um, really sort of rediscovering how how good it actually is um, and by no means it is it a way of me trying a filtered pipe as I think I have one other filter pipe I know it's never really been I have no issue with filter pipes but it's never really been my preference so um, as a fully filter pipe as this is um, I really have no um, there's nothing to give you the impression that it um, has a filter in it there's no um, no restriction on the drawer it has a very open drawer um, and uh, yes it's uh, basically as you see from from the footage it is a um, sort of a ceramic almost like a thermalite material filter which sits inside and um, essentially after every few smokes you take the thing out and just burn off um, basically everything it's it's got inside that it's filtered um, and as you saw um, I've uh, gave that a good sort of uh, heating and you could see what was burning off um, and this is after probably um, I should think I've had a, at least 10 to 15 smokes um, in the pipe and, and that's what it has accumulated and you uh, at one time I believe you could buy a pack of replacement um, filters and I think it says you there is a certain amount of number of smokes that you can it's recommended um, for you to uh, to use the filter for and then you change it but um, again I've never found any more and I, I'd be very surprised if I did come across any more for it so um, so yeah it's a lovely smoker um,
and um, of course um, it doesn't ghost in any way um, I thought initially that perhaps the filter would hold um, some flavour but um, I've never been aware of anything I've smoked aromatics in this in the early days um, and some quite sort of heavily case blends and I've never been aware of it absorbing anything um, to give any kind of taste um, at all so this is another great advantage um, as I say the, the bowl itself is um, I think it is say it's porcelain um, so obviously ceramic based um, which uh, really does um, it does form a bit of a cake um, I do clean it after every smoke um, uh, but um, if you, I guess if you didn't it would form a bit of a cake but um, so uh, yeah it's a good performer and I'm pleased to have enjoyed this um, very much more recently um, and uh, as I say especially good for new blends as similar to Meerschaums you get the um, the sort of the full unadulterated taste of you know the new blend you're putting in um, and uh, I have used this pipe for that reason quite a bit over the years but um, this has been in the rotation now for um, oh, quite a while now um, and it's become a, a regular smoke and it's nice and light um, and also for me personally it's great because it's, it is Bakelite the main body is Bakelite and it has its own sort of uh, Bakelite grain uh, so to speak um, which I, I really do um, enjoy and uh, yes it's uh, in very good condition considering its age um, there's some very minor um, crazing in the top of the, the rim in, in the porcelain part which um, is reminiscent of what you get in um, any sort of uh, ceramic based things like old sinks and um, sanitary ware and things like that where it's uh, over the years it gets that sort of age to it which I, I rather like it's quite a, a characterful um, element to it so uh, yeah so um, I've had a couple of breaks from smoking my pipe which have been enforced by pretty nasty cold um, colds and sort of flu symptoms um, I had sort of a quick succession of maybe two or three sort of fairly bad colds which is damned annoying because um, literally you, I kind of you know I wanted to enjoy a pipe but you just couldn't you know it's like you taste buds go a bit odd and you, you can't really get the best out of it and um, so I, I kind of had a, a probably best part of maybe over a month of, of not um, smoking a pipe and I've like I do in most circumstances I've tried to make it uh, um, make the best of it and came back to um, you know smoking my pipe again with a sort of a, a renewed palette and refreshed and um, as I'm sure other people have you almost find that um, sort of beforehand what you were enjoying doesn't necessarily follow through and indeed that was the case and I found I was um, having to sort of try a few different things and uh, I um, I smoked a lot of uh, a blend which I've had from the uh, um, the Bedford tobacconist uh, Harrison and Simmons um, a blend called Countryman and that's one I went back to and that's that really sort of got the taste buds tickled again and um, that's a, sort of an old faithful along with um, a lovely St Bruno and Condor uh, just to get um, get back into it again and uh, glad to report uh, we're up and back to sort of normal service again so um, that is rather pleasing um, and I guess these things happen um, I've never really been one to, to suffer with a lot of colds and if I do get 
get one it is uh, seems to linger and you know sort of gets in the way of uh, general things so so yes I've been uh, getting back into the routine again and uh, enjoying uh, as I say um, not really much new stuff apart from the uh, rich dark flake which um, I've had I bought it a little while back actually and uh, I've literally been into it now for maybe two or three weeks um, and uh, yeah I've just thoroughly been enjoying it um, and uh, I'm keen to try some of the other Germain's um, blends as well um, of which I think there are uh, quite a few I think um, I need to have a look see what is available I've never so. seen um, in all my travels and all the hundreds of pipes if not thousands of pipes I've seen I've never seen another one um, like this this is the standard model um, and I think they did one other um, I'm not sure if they did any other whether they did a briar range I'm not sure but I've never seen another one so uh, by this virtue I'm going to consider it to be um, quite a valuable pipe uh, certainly is to me and quite a rarity. Um, so again, it begs the question: you know, how much does one smoke a pipe like that? And I think, well, actually, it's a shame to just see it sat there on the shelf. And as long as I'm careful with it, and um, you know, I probably don't tend to take it out and about with me. Um, it is a vulcanite stem, um, so that is. Uh, Obviously, I, I don't really want that to get sort of too oxidised, so I keep it. Um, if I'm not smoking, I generally actually put it away in the box out of sunlight and um, keep it uh, well cleaned out. Um, and that is another point which it does mention on on the uh, on its uh, you know the manufacturer's pamphlet. There, it does say how uh, easy it is to maintain, and it really is. It's similar in a way to a falcon in that you can obviously take the bowl out and essentially the bakelite part which is left the, the sort of the receptacle that just simply can be wiped out not that you get a great deal in there um, and uh, you're pretty much um, you're pretty much good to go um, so it is an easy pipe to to smoke and to maintain as well um, and I, I do wonder actually during the sort of early 30s um, I don't really know if there were many other manufacturers doing anything like that so it is a little bit of a, a pipe um, design icon I would consider it um, so, uh, so yeah I'd be very interested um, to know if anybody else has um, either well seen one or um, owned one um, and, and you know if you've got any sort of thoughts on on it at all that, that would be uh, or information um, I believe if you look on um, I looked on Pipepedia and um, it actually even requests um, the same thing on there it's asking for any other information so um, I don't really know much more about it other than um, I've presented here so um, so yes it'd be great to hear if, if any uh, anyone has uh, experienced uh, the the Butner standard um, so um, let me know if you have okay well uh, pleased to be back on here again um, it's been a while since I've really had a chance to sit down and do anything like this um, I've been uh, dipping in and out of watching YouTube a little bit um, on the on the pipe front which has been uh, most enjoyable but uh, generally speaking uh, not had a chance to do an awful lot so um, I would say if you've subscribed thank you very much um, I appreciate it greatly and uh, um, yes I'm going to uh, continue to enjoy my uh, rich dark flake in the uh, lovely Butner, and uh, you'll be seeing this again, I'm sure. Um, and uh, I hope you uh, 
enjoy my little presentation and uh, find it of, uh, of interest. So until next time, um, I look forward to uh, uh, putting out something again soon for you all and uh, we shall uh, say cheerio for now. Thank you.